Hey James, how you doing? This is V Diamond in the Rough. How's your day going today? I have something that I haven't done for a while. I have a kidding up video, but I'm going to do a kid up and I'm going to do a uh, chat. Give you an update on what's been going on in my <laughs> life in the last month. Um, it's been an interesting month. Anyway, let's get this. Bear with me while I get these printers out. What I am kidding up is something that I purchased a while ago from, now it was on, I saw it on Instagram, was Bonanza Diamond Painting. So I thought I'd give them a go. It is a 75 by 50 raccoon. Um, yeah, there is 30,000 <laughs> free tens in this one. Yay! Um, but anyway, I'm going to kit this up, so bear with me while I kit this up, and we will go ahead and have a bit of a chat. First things first, I used to be so meticulous with doing these that it was really funny. Um, I used to use the exacto knife and cut them out with them using the exacto knife. Um, yeah, guess who slacked off a <laughs> big time? So, Zyron Sticker Maker will be getting in use. And I will find that this will fit as one. This I'm going to be, as you can see here, Craft Makes Lockables. Uh, there is 43 colours. Yeah. There is a absolute ton of uh, three tens yay um, <laughs> why did I do that to myself doesn't matter oh yeah so Zyron sticker maker I'm just checking natural fit I have learnt that I can adjust the angle now one of the things that I tend to struggle with is how I pull this through and There we go, I am struggling and I am making a mess of it. Okay, so, hang on, here we go. Let's cut it off at there. I can never get these straight. And put this one in now. <laughs> and I managed to get that one straight. Yeah, the good old Zyron sticker maker. When you get an inventory sheet that is coloured, sticker maker is very easy. I don't have glasses on so I can't see the... There we go, there's the edge. Okay, right I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to get the labels on to the Craftmates lockable. And uh, yeah, first things first though, what have you been up to? That's why I use this. Okay, sorry guys, this is why I haven't kitted up like this for a very long time. Is it showing? Oh yeah. I will cut that one off because I started to. And my tweezers. These uh, Zyron labels are re replaceable, reusable. Okay, there we go. Hi. Right, so, what's been going on? What's been going on? So, February has been a busy month, uh, life-wise. There we go. February has been very busy, life-wise. It's ridiculous. Um, I have had, well at the beginning of February, for those in WA, we are, you'll be aware of this, we got put into a, a lockdown, a five day, big massive five day lockdown, um, because of COVID. 
um, just checking. I've lost track of which one of. There we go. Um, yeah, we had a five day lockdown because of COVID. Um, we went nearly 10 months with a, without a COVID case in WA. Um, so yeah, we had, uh, we had one community case in, um, in WA, or what they call, you know, chance of community spread. It was a security guard at one of the hotels that does the quarantining of international or for travellers. Um, so in WA, anyone that comes from comes into WA from um, international or any of the red zones or the hot zones, hot states, um, they have to go into quarantine and this is where they stay and they had the security guard um, on the floor. But he's tested positive to it. So what they did was um, we got a lockdown. Everybody in all of his close contacts were... Um, put into isolation, into quarantine, um, and but we got five days lockdown. So five days lockdown, and then those with that had to had essential work, um, you know, masks to work. We actually had to wear our masks while at work. Now, um, part of my job, I wear a headset, talk on a radio, and I have to be clear. And for the first two days of that lockdown, um, I wasn't at shift, but the crew that was on <laughs> didn't have to wear masks. And then we get there on day three, and it's like, no, you have to wear your mask even at your desk. Um, yeah, which, um, when you consider the fact that it's, our shifts, you know, we are basically at work for 12 and a half, hours plus then you got your time either side or beforehand so we actually had to wear our masks for 13 hours straight while at work <laughs> and i'll tell you what oh it gets uncomfortable so i don't i can actually now i don't know how you guys have been able to go for so long wearing masks all the time but um, yeah, so we went into a five-day lockdown um, to prevent it from being spread any further. All the hotspots located, um, masks. We went back to our uh, previous arrangement at work where day shift in the city, night shift we were at the backup centre. Um, so yeah, that was uh, when those five days of quarantine were up. We then ended up with there was still no 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 one else had to, to, the um, was identified as having COVID. None of the close close contacts um, were were diagnosed with it. So we went from everything opened up again with. Gosh. Let's see. Everything opened up again with just the restrictions of social distancing and all that. Uh, interruptions. Where was I? Um, yeah, so we went into the... We ended up with just being in the main main position was actually having to wear masks still. Um, and we stayed in... Um, We still stayed where we were working in the two locations. Um, so yeah, uh, both, I oh, will actually go, those two there will be three tenths. Okay. <laughs> I'm just having a hard time here. I'll go back to the way I used to do it. 
Um, yeah, so we went through the lockdown, told that, you know, if there was no community spread, so we did the five days and then it was if there's no community spread. Uh, midnight, 13th of Feb, would be the uh, ending of having to wear masks, which is no biggie. Oh, you know, which well, I mean, which was really good <laughs> to have. Um, so yeah, we had just that one case of community spread, and that was it. Yay! Back to life normal. Oops. Okay, so in between that happening, we had some pretty big fires in our area. They are. More interruptions. Um, anyway, so yeah, we did get... Um, we had some fires in our area, so we were put under a watch and act. There was other people in our area, obviously, close to the fire. They actually got evacuated. Um, so yeah, we're in this stage of supposed to be in quarantine, but because your safety came above everything, if you needed to evacuate, you could. So we ended up with the cars piled up with stuff just to be on, on your, to be ready to go. I was still having to go to work, although Nathan was at home. I was going to work. I had my car packed up so that if... Um, we ended up in a situation where I actually, we, we had to be evacuated. I didn't need to go back to the house. Um, we had all of our camping gear all ready to go. So it was a case of, you know, we just pack up <laughs> and we were, we could go anywhere because of our camping campsite, the way we have things there. Um, so yeah, we... Fires continued on for a while. Um, I think it was about three or four days of keeping an eye, being on watch alert for these fires, which was you know, a fair amount of time to be on it. But um, unfortunately for people, um, some families lost houses, some lost animals, um, but I think there was about 80 fires destroyed. 80 fires, 80 houses, about 80 houses were destroyed with that fire. We had, there was ash everywhere and yeah. Anyway, so we got through that one. Um, before the lock, before we had the community spread, I got a phone call from my eldest boy in Esperance. He, <laughs> oops, oh this is not good. That's not good. I've ripped it. <laughs> I've ripped it. He, yeah, he rung me up to let me know that he needed to come to Perth to have um, surgery. <laughs> a little bugger. When he rung me up, he turns around and said, Mum, I need to come and stay with you for a little bit because I've got to go to go and have surgery. It's like, oh, yeah, what do you, what do you need? What, do you, what, what, what are you having done? He goes, I'm going to have my feet cut off. <laughs> My heart's just dropped like a stone. And then I've you know, got myself together and gone, what do you mean? What is going on? Um, he then turns around and informs me it's... Um, he's got <laughs> ingrown toenails on his big toes, both sides of his big toes on both feet. Um, he had really bad ingrown toenails, been dealing with... Um, infections from it, needing antibiotics, all of that jazz. So, yeah, um, he'd organised to come up to Perth. No issue there. So we've got it, and we've got it organised for him to come up to Perth. Then lockdown happened. It was like, oh, he might not be coming. Um, then lockdown lifted, so he was able to come. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we had that side of things. Uh, and then after lockdown restrictions ended, uh, my youngest boy, 
moved back home. So he moved back home a couple of days before his brother came up. Can't remember dates because there was just so much going on. But he came up a couple of days before his brother came came up. But then my younger son, so he came, moved, my younger son moved home. And then um, he flew across to Queensland uh, for a few days. Um, and then my eldest boy came up while he was away. And then, um, yeah, well, I took a couple of days carer's leave to you know, drive my son around, get into his appointments and all that. Um, and then ended up with um, he had his feet done on the Monday his brother came home I think it was that night I'm not quite sure but his brother came home and he was still there so we ended up with a house of um, house of you know four of us so I have my two boys under my roof which I haven't had for such a long time um, I think it was Christmas two years ago I had them under my roof stat but neither of but not where they're both st staying I think the last time they both stayed under the roof under the same roof was about five years ago uh, um, so yeah we had uh, he needed to go in. Oh, mm, yeah, there was something else happened before then. Um, that's what I mean. It's been crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so Paddy had to have his um, get his toes done. So um, the day that I picked up Paddy from the airport. So this is how long winded this is and how many things happened. The day. Paddy arrived on the Wednesday morning. I'd done Tuesday night shift um, and I was finishing work Wednesday morning and um, that's when you know night shift was over and I was on days off. Three o'clock on that Wednesday morning, <laughs> I caught something at the, in my eye at work. So, you know, I've just gone, yep, yeah, righty-o. You, know, um, you know, done the rinse, done the eye drops, going, yeah, that'll be fine. By the time I finished work and had gotten to the airport to pick Paddy up, my eye was horrendous. It had, I had gunk in it. It was disgusting. Um, yeah, but I dealt with it. You know, I just ignored it. It's like my son. You know, kids are more important dealing with them and what's going on with them. Um, so yeah, so that was Wednesday. Picked him up, went home. I went to bed. Um, the next day, the Thursday, was the day that uh, he had his appointment with the guy that was going to decide what to do with his toes. So that was at one o'clock on Thursday afternoon. So what happened? <laughs> By about ten o'clock, no, about nine o'clock Thursday morning, I've just turned around and bit the bullet. And um, said to Patty, I said, I've got to go out. I've got to do something here. Oh, gosh, making a mess of this. Um, but I, I made an appointment with, uh, I called my doctors and said, I need an emergency appointment. I've got something, I've got something in my eye. I need it to be looked at. Um, and I just said, well, if you can be here in 10 minutes, we'll get a doctor to have a look at it straight away. So I went in and saw the doctor. To discover I'd actually cop whatever had ended up in my eye was gone which is a good thing but I had actually scratched my eyeball so I was put on drops for my eyes for a couple of that for about five days um, yeah so between COVID fires my son moving home my eldest son coming up to Perth to go see a doctor and then my um, eye you would think that would be enough you would think that would be enough but then while I think the last day that Paddy was with us I uh, bit into something and copped a toothache now 
by saying a toothache. I couldn't tell whether it was my top or bottom tooth on my left side. And I ignored it for a couple of, well, I ignored it the best I could. I was back at work, so it was like, well, I'm not going back to, the, I'm not seeing anyone until after I've, when I'm on my next days off. Um, so yeah, my first lot of days off, actually this, my the first night shift, so I was doing two nights, so my first night shift, I've actually gone onto their website, the dentist website, made an online booking for, is it Friday morning? Yeah, Friday morning, um, to go see the dentist for an emergency, emergency. um, yeah. Okay, hang on. Why do I just feel like it's just wrong? Um, so yeah, turned around and got into the dentist to discover that yes, I had to have a filling and it's going to need a crown. Uh, so now I'm on the roller coaster ride of having to see the dentist and get shit done to my teeth. Yay. Okay, so that is everything, all my containers done. Um, we will start filling. Now, one of the things, let's get this in order so I can work with it in order. Right there. There. Oh, idiot. Look at that. <laughs> Just as well these are movable. That should have been there. Um, yeah, so yeah, I got um, got on the dentist. So there is a there is a bit going on, just a little bit going on. Um, four, eight, 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 ten, two. Okay, so on to the next step, which is the actual filling the containers. Uh, put that away. I don't need the big scissors. I don't need that. Oh, yeah. Right, let's get started now. I did put these bags. In order. Hang on. Oops. Do, do, do. I need one. Watch me as I throw something on the floor. This is going to the floor. Kidney room. Okay, so now it's just a case of let's put these up. I can't remember whether they did round or squares. I think they're squares. Okay, um, so yeah. Get this going, get these bags up. Let's see how we go. Let's see what's left over. I did get squares and I need to grab a highlighter. Alright. Big thing with um <laughs> uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I should be able to fit all of those in. Actually, I should be able to fit them all in. Yep, did go in squares. Okay, so when kidding up, there's something I haven't done is put up the video on the review. Oh gosh, it's been ages since I've dealt with these bags. ages um, I didn't do a, haven't done a review on it but I have tissue box which is where I throw my plastic bags into my little baggies into so I don't have to deal with them um, okay so um, let's fast forward and get this job done
it up. Good to go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> six bags are uh, not in. But I did fill one complete tray with three tens. And with that being done, it's time for me to start um, drilling away on this one. Um, yeah, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz, and bye for now.